Hey guys, it's Tina. I'm a professional makeup artist and all you need for today is two lip liners. One that's a shade that's really close to your natural lip color shade and one that's just a little darker. A lip balm, a lip brush or a dense concealer brush that would work just as fine. A liquid or cream um, highlighter. I'm just using a highlighter crayon and a uh, bronzer, a cool tone bronzer or a contouring powder. That's all you need to create the look that is shown on screen right now, which is basically lip contouring to make your lips look fuller and bigger without using any lipstick, lip gloss, or any lip plumbers. By the way, are you subscribed? Click the little red button under this video so that you can see my newer videos on your YouTube homepage and not miss them out. You want to start with a moisturized lip. So I use the EOS lip balm and overnight last night I used the Dr. Papa Overnight Lip Mask. And you want to do that about an hour before you do this lip trick. Um, or if you do it right away, make sure to blot it a little bit with a tissue paper on top of it to not make uh, your lip liner slip around and just so it would last a little longer. So for the first lip liner shade that's close to my natural lip color, I'm going to be using the NYX Wooden Lip, La um, lip Liner in Natural. And what I'm gonna do is line my lips, but you don't want to overline too much to where you have a gap between your natural lip line outline and the liner, just because it's not gonna look natural. Unless you're a professional makeup artist or you did it a few times before and you mastered the technique, or unless you have a very, very smooth outer lip line and a really smooth skin around your lips, it's just not gonna look natural for most of us. So what I'm gonna be doing is line my lips outside of the lip, but to where it touches the natural um, outline of my lip, if that makes sense. You don't wanna go inside or right on top, I mean, or right on your outline of your natural lip line to where you just define your lips. You wanna make them look a little bigger, but not to where you have a gap between the two lines. So as you see, the line that I created touches my natural lip line, but it goes just out a little bit outwards outside of it. Make sure to not outline too much outside of your lip on the outer corners because that makes your mouth look a little bit like longer and it just once again looks weird and uh, unnatural. You want to focus and do it out side of your natural lip line the most or further out the most on the center of the lip. So at the bottom on the cupid's bow and on the bottom of your bottom lip. And here on the inner corners, just keep it a little bit more inwards um, towards inside the natural lip line. Once you've done that, you wanna open your mouth and just go a little bit on the inner corners but on your actual lip line just to connect it together. Now I'm going to be fading in this lip line inwards a little bit from all the around the edges. I'm going really lightly with a light hand, just kind of feathering it in. The purpose of this is to blur the um, shades between if there is any difference between the shade of your natural lip color, which is not just the whole one shade, it has different shades in it, and the lip liner shade. Now we're gonna grab the other lip liner that is one shade darker than your natural lip color, and for me is the NYX, once again, wooden lip liner in mauve. And this is just a little bit darker, a little more purpley, but deeper than my natural lip liner. What I'm gonna be doing with this is going around the inner corner, but this time I'm going to go inside the natural lip line, just over where we just painted with the other lip line, and I'm going to feathering it in on the very inner corners inwards. That is going to create more of a pouty look, and it's going to create a natural shade on the corners and make it look um, a little more plump and um, a little fuller. Because I feel like this shade for me specifically is not dark enough, I'm going to go on with the NYX Nutmeg, which is a little darker brown on the very outer corners, again, on top of that. Now 
And you can take a lip brush or a dense concealer brush would work just as fine and just go on top of those lines to feather them in and blend all the colors together. This is an optional step though. If you feel like all the colors blended well together, good for you, you don't need that step. Next, I'm going to be contouring or shading my lips a little bit with the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Contour uh, Little Duo. And this is in the shade Light, I believe. And I'm just going, yeah, Light. And I'm just going to be taking this shade, which is the um, contour shade with a little Sigma flat brush. Uh, I can't see what number this is. I'm gonna link it below in the description bar, just as all the other products that I'm using here. And I'm just going to take a little bit of that and we're going to create a shadow under the bottom lip on the very center. That is going to create the illusion like our lips is like pouty and like they're coming out a little bit to where they cast a shadow right underneath. You don't wanna to go too far down. Just go very, very close to your natural lip line and try to fade it out downwards and to the sides. By the way, you. You watching this, do you have an Instagram account? Are you following me? You should. The link is down in the description bar. Makeup and Art Freak underscore. A lot of fun stuff are going on there. Go ahead, do it right now. Pause. I'm not going anywhere. Go click follow and then come back. All right, so now we're going to do the same exact thing on the upper cupid's bow, right inside this little dent that we have in the center of our upper lip. Um, and that is to create the same effect illusion of a shadow being cast from the pouty lip. So we're gonna take a little bit and just go in a little bit of like a U shape in the very center right here. And upwards. Just a little bit, not too much. And for the final step, we're going to be taking some kind of a cream um, highlighter on a little bit of a dense cream brush or an eyeliner brush or just a, um, pencil, like a highlighting pencil like this. Um, this is the Essence Spotlight Highlighter Pencil. And I'm just going to be taking that on two areas of my lip. First, the cupid's bow, but the very, very top of my actual lip. And once again, you wanna go a little bit above to where it touches the natural lip line. And then on the very center of the lip to create a fuller effect. Just blending it towards the edges a little bit more. And center. And you can dab with your finger to blend it all together. That's the finished look. Make sure to subscribe for more pro tips and tricks and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.